Jim, you tried the new Gillette stainless blade? You better. You'll get the slickest shaves of your life. One man asks another, one man tells another. Because on stainless steel, on any steel, it's the edge that counts. And Gillette edges are the world's sharpest, easiest shaving. You'll realize from your first stroke, your first shave, Gillette has given a brand new meaning to the phrase shaving comfort. Wherever you are, you get quick, clean shaves, refreshing shaves, more of them per blade, and uniform. Each blade is alike, each equally easy and smooth shaving. You've just got to try them to appreciate what we mean. Gillette stainless blades fit your slim adjustable razor or any Gillette razor exactly. Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today, to continue our Razor Archive series, and we're going to be talking about the Gillette Slim Adjustable. Why is it slim? Why is it adjustable? You may ask yourself. Well, I have the answer for you. So, Gillette was really not the success of the $1.95 adjustable razor. Engineers at, at Gillette said, we can make it better, not bigger, slimmer. We will slim down the head so you can get it underneath your nose. Not me, obviously I have my growth here of hair. <laughs> Some of you have lovingly called it. We will slim down the handle. Again, the idea of a fat handle was not very Gillette-esque. You look at all the history of their razors, they always had pretty, pretty slim handles like this. So the idea of being able to trim down the proportions of the Fat Boy razor and make this was in their mind a success. Plus, I think they were able to make it cheaper. There's a couple parts on it that are just a little bit cheaper, but easier to make than the Fat Boy. Specifically, uh, some of the parts inside here that deal with the butterfly action, um, and also the adjustment mechanism around the dial, but easier with this style of clicker. Bottom line, very, very similar to the Fat Boy. In fact, many of the parts are interchangeable. Very, very big milestone for Gillette, moving to this easier to make design. And they were able to market it and sell it at a cheaper price. I think, yeah, we're no longer the $1.95 adjustable. We're now the $1.79 adjustable. So they're able to pass off the razor to you at a cheaper price. It still has a very similar look and feel case to the Fat Boy. Obviously, it's not. Uh, horizontal orientation. It's more of a vertical orientation, but it still has that clear plastic styrene lid and um, plastic interior. Now we have some different cool fun colors coming in here. There's one with gold, there's one with black, there's one with red, and of course there is the blue. Now these represent different periods of time. Don't ask me which color represents which year. Um, I don't know, and it's hard to even tell because Sometimes the advertisements in this period of time were in black and white, so the colors, you really can't tell what color that's supposed to be. Uh, I'm sure someone out there does know what year goes with what color, and if you do, please tell me below, because I would love to know myself. Um, but this razor overall was still a very big su success for Gillette. They were selling tons and tons of them. People loved it. Very popular today. You know, on a rarity scale, I would give a slim, just the razor alone, pretty low. I would give it a one out of five. One being anytime you're out thrifting, you can find it versus five. It belongs in a museum. Um, just myself, I was, in, I was in Texas recently for a family get together and I went out thrifting, which I rarely have time to do these days. And what did I find? I found a slim adjustable. And of course I picked it up, it was a great deal. Um, but they are fairly common. That's because they made millions of them. They're not rare, people. Um, now, there are rare elements of the Slim Adjustable. I would, I would uh, contend that if you found a Slim Adjustable like this, with the six blue blade dispensers, the instructions, that's definitely going to add to the value. If the plating condition is in good, is in good shape, it doesn't have you know, little uh, flea bites in the plating, and it, it looks good and functions, that adds to the value. If you find it like this in the original uh, blister pack, as they're called, definitely adds to the value, untouched, unopened. If you find something like this, um, which held you know, five or six of these uh, razors, six it looks like, definitely valuable. I was really, really fortunate to score this from somebody um, years ago in a chat room that had come across, I think, a dozen of them, and I bought one. Uh, really, really cool. Um, this just came to our collection very recently, 
and it was always kind of on my list of ones I wanted to collect. And this is a Christmas gift set uh, that Gillette put out in the 60s. And again, I was just commenting to our producer, Marissa, how neat it looks. I love this, the color scheme, the 60s kind of retro look. Uh, so if you find just the packaging like this, very, very rare, very cool. You can imagine, it's Christmas morning, someone's gonna sit there and rip this open and go in the bathroom with it and the rest of the packaging is in the garbage can, but to find it all like this untouched means that someone didn't like their Christmas gift. Um, but regardless, we love it today because it's collectible. Um, and it tells the story, tells this rich history of Gillette. That's all I got on the Slim. If you own a Slim, do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you use it? I love mine. I have mine in my bathroom. Um, please tell me below. And if you do leave a comment, you're entered into win this, the Razor Emporium black and blue t-shirt. We're so happy you guys have joined us today. And please like this video, share it to your buddies. Um, subscribe to our channel, see more content from us, and we'll see you next time at Razor Emporium for all things vintage shaving.